Yeah, I'm not sure exactly where this is going to go, but uh, I certainly feel like I'm supposed to record it. So, In Isaiah uh, 6, chapter, it says, In the year of King Uzziah's death, I saw the Lord sitting on a throne, lofty and exalted, with the train of his robe filling the temple. Seraphim stood above him, each having six wings. With two he covered his face, and with two he covered his feet, and with two he flew. And one called out to another and said, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. The whole earth is full of his glory. And the foundations of the threshing of the thresholds. And the foundations of the thresholds trembled at the voice of him who called out. While the temple was filling with smoke. And then I said, Woe is me. For I am ruined, I am undone, because I am a man of unclean lips. And I live among a people of unclean lips. For my eyes have seen the King, the Lord of hosts. Then one of the seraphim flew to me with a burning coal in his hand, which he had taken from the altar with tongs. He touched my mouth with it and said, Behold, this has touched your lips, and your iniquity is taken away, and your sin is forgiven. Then I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send? And who will go for us? Then I said, here I am. Here am I, send me, Lord. And he said, go and tell this people. <laughs> Keep on listening, but do not perceive. Keep on looking, but do not understand. Render the hearts of this people insensitive, their ears dull and their eyes dim. Otherwise, they might see with their eyes. Hear with their ears, understand with their hearts, and return to be healed. Then I said, Lord, how long? And he answered, until cities are devastated and without inhabitation, houses are without people, and the land is utterly desolate. The Lord has removed men far away, and the forsaken places are many in the midst of the land, yet there will be a tenth portion in it. And it again, and it will again be subject to burning, like a terebinth or an oak, whose stump remains when it is felled. The holy seed is its stump. We are in such a tragic time in history like I've never seen before. We, we call it justice. <laughs> Embracing sin, embracing a culture that is deprived of life. We are. Uh, we wonder why <laughs> things are happening the way that they are. We wonder why society is becoming what it is. And the crazy part of it is, it's like, like the Lord said, you keep listening, but you don't, you don't perceive. You keep looking, but you don't understand. Your heart has become insensitive. Your ears are dull. Your eyes are dim. It's like you're looking at a clear picture, but squinting your eyes. And saying that you see the full picture when you really don't. But if you stay in that state long enough, you begin to believe that your lack of vision is actually clear vision, that your sound of a faintness, you think that you hear the whole story. We have gotten to a place in the world society today that uh, oftentimes I just, I just weep. And I ask the same question. 
How long, Lord? How, how long? And you know, and it's Paul, it's Apostle Paul, he said, you know, a man to die and be with Christ is so much better, but it's better for your sake that I'm still here, that I remain. To live is Christ, but to die is gain. I don't want to quit. I want God's purpose to me to exist in this time, in this season for him. I won't quit on that. But I tell you, it's getting hard. And the more and more I see just the, the degrading of society, the degradation of society, and the, the fabric of morality just being decimated and yet we're so quick to point a finger and say you can't judge me you can't judge me <laughs> my body my choice <laughs> father forgive us Jesus on the cross stretched out his arms as they gambled at his feet for his clothes he said, Father, forgive them, for they have no clue what they're doing. Stephen, as he was being stoned to death, was sharing the good news of the gospel, sees the heavens wide open and Jesus standing there. And as they're stoning him to death, his words are, Lord, let this not be held to their charge. Don't hold this against them. Forgive them. God, wake us up. Father, wake us up. Please don't be silent. If you don't know Jesus Christ,